The handover was held at the Guyana Industrial Training Center, GITC, Wilford Avenue and Albert Street, Georgetown location on Monday. Jamil Jacobs, a student of the GITC, received $100,000 from the Small Business Bureau to launch his furniture repairs workshop. I was doing furniture making, so my idea was based on furniture products. So um, I, I think about an idea that repairing furniture, because most companies in Guyana do not repair furniture. They just make, make furniture and if it's damaged, you can't get it replaced. So my idea was repairing furniture and doing small, small furniture items because of the amount of money small business was given to me. It was not enough to do some big furniture company, so that was my idea. Jacobs, along with another student, Tariq Collymore, were selected from a group of 10 students who participated in an entrepreneurship competition held by the SBB this year. Each student was required to submit a project proposal. Collymore also received $100,000 to set up a mechanic shop, but was not at the GITC for the handing over ceremony. As a startup, the GITC will be providing the students with the space needed to conduct their business. And what we have decided to do is to have what is called the incubator system. And the incubator system is where the persons who have received their grant, their grant is given guidance, is given coaching, is given mentorship along with the Small Business Bureau and the GITC in order to ensure that the business not just start but maintain and is being successful throughout the years and they develop it. Entrepreneurship is a subject taught at the Institute along with welding, masonry, plumbing, motor vehicle repairs, furniture making, electrical installation, data operations and metalwork engineering. The grants were handed over by Shemaine Headley, Research and Marketing Officer at the Small Business Bureau, who noted that this is the first tertiary institution to benefit from such grants. There are lots of children, there are lots of young adolescents who are about to leave school or either are in school that have business ideas. But most times the complaint is no one is there to support those ideas. No one is going to give them the necessary training or even the money to start those businesses. And that is why the Small Business Bureau is capitalizing on that opportunity to ensure that our youth have access to financing to small, sorry, access to financing to start their businesses. Headley disclosed that the agency began its in-school entrepreneurship program in 2017, which saw 104 students being awarded $100,000 grant that year and 100 students in 2018. Bibi Katoon reporting for the newsroom.